Riley, Riley. J Rock J -Rock. Hands come back Hands come to back. you too. To you too. Finally, J Rock has come back to you too. What is happening in 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 in, in with the millions? Uh, and millions of J-Rock's fans from all over the world. You're right here with J-Rock, the most electrifying YouTuber in all of YouTube and entertainment, the YouTube people's champ, baby. And we're about to give you J-Rock's movie review on Bloodshot with Vin Diesel. Uh, let J-Rock say this. Uh, no spoilers, all right? Since the movie has... Um, they're going to come out to later on tonight, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So it won't be any spoilers here. But I will say this. J-Rock says this. The action was good. All right? From what you many of you have already seen in the trailers. All right? You have Vin Diesel, who is an enhanced super soldier, who gets this extraordinarily ability to heal his body with, you know, this enhancement, along with increased strength. But not only that, you come to find out that there are others similar to him. Not identical, but similar super soldiers, if you will. And apparently he is seeking revenge on the people who killed his wife. Uh, based on the trailer. Took away his life. Figuratively and literally. And so now what he's doing is using his abilities to go back and you know, wreak havoc on those who wreak havoc on him. And so, I like the CGI in the movie, the healing ability, which I thought, in my personal opinion, the CGI they did for the healing ability was much better than that in the Wolverine movies. Now, obviously, Wolverine was a mutant, and he's an enhanced, so they're not the same, but how they did it with him healing in this movie was look pretty damn good and some of y'all saw in the trailer that he has these nanites in his blood all right and so uh that's what's healing him giving his ability to heal rapidly and increasing his strength uh, but as the story progresses later on vin diesel finds out everything he thought was a lie it wasn't all true or at least some of it wasn't i should say and there was an interesting plot twist in here. I'm not going to spoil. Uh, but when Vin Diesel in this movie makes a discovery, that threw me off for a bit. I'm not going to lie. It threw me for a little loop. In a good way, not a bad way. Because I like when, when they throw me for a loop in, in, in certain, certain respects. But this one was a good one. How they uh, play, tugged on the emotions a little bit. Um... And so, yeah, it was good. And it basically turned the story in a different direction, if you would, once this particular plot twist was inserted. So it was a good movie. I liked it. Um, I mean, to me, much of it was pretty predictable. Um, the, uh, how the story went and whatnot. Other than that plot twist I didn't see coming, it was pretty predictable to me. Basically, um, you basically have your your good guy that you know is doing his job and something unfortunate happens and then someone tries to offer him a, a remedy for it and turns out it's not what he thought it is so then he has to go back and fight the quote unquote establishment um and try to figure out what happened not everything that i just said was in the trailer too so there's no spoilers in that everything there so on a scale of one to five. I would give this movie 2.8 YouTube people's eyebrows. 2.8. All right. Uh, like it, didn't love it. Uh, it wasn't bad. Uh, would I watch it again? Maybe, probably. Uh, maybe rent it. I wouldn't buy it. Uh, it wasn't at least that good to me. And I, I don't ever li listen to, you know, ratings or, you know, uh, Rotten Tomatoes, whether they tell me a, a movie is good or not. There's a lot of movies that they 
had rave reviews about it, and I watched it. I'm like, man, this movie sucks. And then they gave other movies that uh, bad reviews. And I'm like, hell, y'all talking about this? Is, this is great. So I encourage you to, if you were in planning on seeing it, continue to do that. Uh, you might like it, you might not, but this is just what, what I thought about it. Uh, my whole thinking process uh, as it pertains to it. So, And I'm sure in the coming day and week, there's going to be more people who you know review the movie as well. Lastly, my whole thing about the coronavirus and its effect on canceling sports. Uh, obviously, you had to do that um, so that you wouldn't continue. You would increase the odds of the virus spreading a lot more rapidly than it has when you have large groups of people gathering like that in such a confined space literally inches from one another many of which uh it said for the first maybe couple of days to a week or two that it's asymptomatic meaning that you can have the virus and not even know it show no symptoms of it um they say 80 per case 80 cases of it people who contract the virus is pretty mild that means for every 10 people who carry it or, co or contract it um, the cases are mild uh, it's not life threatening whatsoever you may experience a little discomfort uh, there was a lady out in um, Seattle who posted about she didn't even go to the hospital or go to the ER or go to the doctor she just you know, treated herself at home. Not that she was encouraging anybody else to do that, uh, but she stayed at home, took some Sudafed, some, you know, medicated herself with some over-the-counter medicine, had herself some um, uh, humidifier, and she got through it, you know. Um, she had some aches and pains, you know, and a fever, but for the most part, she recovered, which reports say that, you know, 90% of the people who catch it recover uh so it's not a death sentence if you just so happen to contract the virus obviously you want to make sure you do your due diligence by doing the things that we should all been doing all along washing our hands uh not sneezing into coughing into the air spreading germs if you're not feeling well stay home don't go around people sneezing and coughing on folks um sanitizing and cleaning areas that you often touch um, that sort of thing things we should have been doing the whole time anyway um, I, I, I would also say that the good news that I've heard is that no children have contracted from the virus and, and died I, I don't I haven't heard anything um, I'm, I'm listening for that because I have three kids that uh, I gotta take care of and make sure that they're good and safe so uh, we want to make sure that they're fine. And so, um, with that being said, um, we have a pause in our sports, which, understandable. We'll get through it. I believe we will. Uh, as you can see, the hat says worship. Uh, I'm a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm a believer. All right? I don't apologize for it, and I'm proud of it. And I believe that my Father in Heaven has is never caught off guard. He has never surprised. And I believe that there is a cure, a remedy in planet Earth that He has placed here because He loves us more than we can ever know. All right? And I also believe that it's just a matter of time before we find it. We just have to listen to Him and heed His voice and follow him to the cure, to the remedy to this situation. Uh, this is not the first brand new virus that has struck. Um, we got through that, we'll get through this. Uh, unfortunately, there, there have been and unfortunately will continue to be casualties of this uh, from what many of you have heard, mostly uh, the elderly, 60 and older, are in the most possible uh, position of you know experiencing severe to fatal cases of this so if you believe you have it stay home wash your hands 
uh, do as whatever you can as possible to try to you know reduce the spread of this um, so that's my whole take on it um, and so I pray for all those who have contracted it I pray for the families of people who have lost loved ones and family members um, who have passed from this virus all over the world um, the good news that from what I'm reading and hearing is that starting in China going over to all other countries is that the daily cases are beginning to decrease uh, which means that we're showing some slow improvement but currently there's no vaccine specifically for this um, it's just a matter of doing your best not to spread it to anyone um, this far out that, that that you know and just being safe I guess I should say but with that being said um, stay safe um, avoid as, as large gatherings as you can um, take the tissue Kleenex sanitize wipes all that with you if you have to go out you know make sure you're cleaning your carts uh, me and my wife do that all the time before we uh, clean any before we take our kids anywhere before we shop we always clean the carts down because you just never know um, so make sure you're doing that uh, know that sanitize sanitizer is scarce um, I found a um, something online that has the ingredients to make your own hand sanitizer I think it has something to do with isopropyl alcohol aloe vera gel and some sort of oil those three ingredients you mix it together you can make your own sanitizer uh, or you can just use maybe isopropyl rubbing alcohol um, and peroxide to clean areas that sort of thing so um, we just continue to do be vigilant and diligent in our uh, taking care of ourselves and not just ourselves but those around us because our actions affect those people as well um, be careful with mail because you don't know who's touched your mail be careful with money uh, for those of you who are gamers you remember the opening uh, cinematic in the division about how the virus and the division spread from dollar bills uh, it's, it's amazing how art imitates life in that way but just be safe do your due diligence um, if you're not feeling well stay home um, if you can limit your exposure to large crowds as best you can and um, just know this we'll get through this we will get through this all right Post your comments down below and let me know what you thought of this video. If you appreciate it and enjoy J Rock's react to this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. And come along with the rest of us on this electrifying journey to 1 million subscribers, all right? Also, hit that bell so you can be notified that it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J Rock. Until next time, Mama and Gigi forever. If you smell, la la la, wow, what J Rock is.